Hello, hello, hello. I know I look crazy, but I look like this because I am getting ready to do my lie for my soap batch. And this is my first time doing it. And so I want to make sure that I'm taking all the necessary precautions. Okay? So I got all right. So I've got my recipe here um, from Royalty Soap. She's a soap lady that I follow on YouTube. All right, you guys, now this was the scary part for me, making the lye solution. It is two to one ratio. Whatever amount of lye you're using for your recipe, you use twice as much as water. And so I did this, and like I said, I added ice because I wanted it to cool down the mixture. It got pretty hot. You wanna add a little bit at a time and take your time. Make sure that you are completely covered up. I had closed toed shoes, gloves, goggles, mask, the whole thing. You see I'm doing it by the door. Afterwards, I put the lid uh, back on, screwed it tight, and let it sit until it got to room temperature away from children, somewhere away from children where they cannot burn their face off, okay? This stuff is no joke. If you get it in your eye, you will be blind. And so I took the most precaution. My door was closed and locked. Kids could not come in. No one was coming in, no one going out, okay? And then you clean up your mess with vinegar solution. Now on to the oils. It's dark outside now. I waited until nighttime to do the main mixing of the soaps. I already made my lye water, as you know, earlier. And then today I mixed, I mixed up the different oils that I'm going to be using. They're all over there on that table there. And I am checking out some of my micas. I've got some from um, some oxide pigments from uh, Brambleberry here. And then I have a whole lot. I think I showed you guys these. Maybe not. And more from Brambleberry. These ones are from Brambleberry. And then I have a whole lot from Merrick. I'll link where I got everything. So I got some, some titanium dioxide pigment. I do want to have a little white in my soap. I want a little bit of black in my soap. I think these colors are so pretty. So this is my first soap. And I know I'm probably doing too much as I'm always doing. But I figured if I'm going to make it. I want it to be what I want. Um, the fragrance I used was Black Raspberry from Brambleberry. Um, yep, so that's what I used. And uh, we're going to see how this turns out. Okay, you guys, so the next step is I had to mix in my lime water into my oils. I already measured out everything. And here you're going to see me just mixing my lime water into my oils. You want to make sure that you are very careful again gloved up with goggles on mask on everything i do have the door open you can't see it but the door is open so that way i don't have any issues with the fumes so you're going to blend your oils until you get to saponification which is uh where the lye and the oil blends together and changes okay and then after that you're going to make sure you have trace and trace is where it almost looks like it can sit on top of the batter is how thick your batter is i didn't want a really really thick batter but sometimes the fragrance oils you put in will change how thick your batter is as well so uh, the fragrance oil i used did thicken my batter a little bit and so my trace was a little bit thicker but it still came out really really good after i did all of that and it reached saponification i decided to put two different colors in two different bowls. So I took the soap and I put half and half and I mixed half in the purple colors of mica and then half in, in the titanium dioxide so that way it's white. So it came out like a really creamy, um, a little off-white, which is fine with me. And I just wanted to layer those two back and forth, so that's what I'm doing. I'm sorry, my whole elbow's in the way. It'll move in just a second. But I was layering the soaps in. I started with the white, and then I went to the purple, and then back to the white. And then I did a swirl, and then on top I did more purple. So when you're mixing in your pigments, you want to mix a little bit of the oil in with the pigments before you put it in your batter, which is why I had them in those little containers. After you mix them in real good and break up all the mica, then you go ahead and incorporate it into your batter. But you don't want to just drop it into your batter without doing that because you'll have specks of pigments that are not all the way dissolved when your soap is finished. Now the wonderful fragrance oil that I used was black raspberry. And let me tell you, as soon as I dropped this into the batter, which is I did it before I did the uh, splitting of the batters, it smelled so 
good. I just wanted to eat it. I just wanted to eat it. It smells so good. So I just continued mixing and uh, getting the colors all incorporated, listening to my whispers and just enjoying my time with all the good smells, continue layering them in the soap mold and just being really cautious of the time because you know once you reach trace, especially if your fragrance oil changes the consistency or it makes you go to trace faster, uh, you gotta sometimes move a little fast depending on what type of design you want to do and I want to do a little swirl on top and so in order to do that I have to make sure that my trace is not too thick and so I'm just layering colors back and forth and once I'm done doing that I'll put my center color in the top, swirl it, and add my mica. So this is a couple of hours later. I just wanted to show you the progress. And tomorrow I'm going to actually cut at least one piece. You're supposed to wait 48 hours, but I'm waiting 24 because I'm impatient. So here it is the next day, and it's been over 24 hours. So I'm going to just cut one little small piece because I'm impatient right, and I can't wait. See, I made some lavender bath saw earlier for my auntie. Her birthday was yesterday. And we're throwing her a little shindig tomorrow um, down in San Diego. So let's see if this mode. This is my first time I'm molding. So I'm not sure. Can I pull it down like that? Am I going to mess up the corners if I do that? I told you I'm new at this. I'm gonna try to, well, we're gonna end up beveling the corners anyway, so. Okay. Let's try to push her on out of there. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Hoo, 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 hoo. You guys. Oh. oh, Monique Chante is so proud. Look how pretty it came out. This is my very first one, you guys. I did like I tried to layer it and do like I want it like a creamy white at the bottom because this is a uh, um, black raspberry so I wanted like a creamy bottom and then a purple and then a swirl mix in the middle of that and then um, purple swirl on top so it came out pretty much like I wanted it to it smells amazing oh my goodness so that's that that's the full loaf, you guys. Oh, cutters cut it like this. Guys, I'm a soap maker now. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Okay. Oh boy. Whew. That was nervous. Ooh, look how pretty. Oh, shucks. Oh, shucks. Maybe that's why they told me to let it dry a little longer. But we're going to cut one bar. And then we're going to let the rest dry. I just wanted to see it. I'm going to let the rest dry for the whole 20, 48 hours, though. But I just could not resist, you guys. I just could not resist you understand so the rest I shall let dry look at that isn't that pretty look how pretty so I'm gonna let this finish doing what it's supposed to as a matter of fact I'm gonna even put it back in the mold but I just could not help myself I just had to cut it and look at it just had to and it's still soft that's why they tell you to wait my heart had it tell and so you guys that is the soap making process i completely forgot to do an exiting i was so excited running around showing my husband and my kids making them smell this soap so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please remember to stay wrapped in scraps meaning to keep renewing yourself keep recycling things to make yourself and your life better Remember to stay loving you, stay loving God, stay loving life, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Also, if you're enjoying the content, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of the Wrapped in Scraps family. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.